Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube. It's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new video. It is about noon already, so I have been busy all morning. Um, packaged up a few things. I I was gonna try and like kind of use this cart to like bring stuff to the car, but honestly, it doesn't really hold that many things. Um, <laughs> but this is just like our little outside bar cart thing um, for when like bringing food in and out of the house, which makes it a lot easier when you're transporting a bunch of stuff. But it doesn't really work for boxes, but makes for a cute photo, right? So anyway, we're gonna get this stuff into the car. All right, you guys, we are inside the car now, and it is so hot outside. I think how hot is it? It's a whopping. 94 degrees. It's not actually as hot as it was before, but it's pretty warm um, So okay, what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna go to the post office But I think first I'm gonna stop by Walmart so I can drop off my mom's prescription because I think I told you guys yesterday in yesterday's vlog um, Today mom went um, she got some um, she had three teeth extracted and then she got bone grafts because she actually um, She like cracked like one of her teeth or something in the back and like it was just like a mess and it was like really painful for her and she was like oh my gosh so she finally went to the dentist because she was like very apprehensive to go because she was like oh my gosh I don't want any more surgeries but she went and then long story short she's gonna get some stuff done <laughs> and I think today was the first step she came home she's like super puffy she looked like a chipmunk squirrel hamster she, her mouth was full of like gauze and it's just like wow um so i'm gonna go pick up her pres her prescription but first i'm gonna go drop it off because you know it takes a little while to get it ready so i'm gonna drop it off i'm gonna go to the post office then i'm going to head over to the pottery barn outlet because i'm gonna pick up that chandelier for my aunt and then um come back and maybe hit up the Goodwill either before, yeah, probably before um, Walmart because I think it's um, actually before, yeah, so, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see what happens, we'll see how the time, what the time permits, it's already 1.25, um, so let's head out. You guys, the mail lady is right there, so I was able to drop off my packages, so I'm so excited. Hey right, guys, we just got to Walmart. It's super hot. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna turn in the prescription, then go to the Goodwill, because it's actually just down the street. I totally forgot about that. And then come back, pick it up, and then maybe go to Pottery Barn. So let's go. All right, you guys, I just dropped off the prescription, uh, but right now I'm looking for the tape, like packaging tape. Unfortunately, they literally moved everything around in this whole Walmart, and I no longer know the layout. That's how long I haven't been here. But I feel like I was just here like a few weeks ago. But everything is moved around. Like, the fabrics and stuff is over there now. It used to be like right over here. Like, it's intense. So, I'm looking for, maybe it's in hardware. Whole life just got turned upside down. I don't know where anything is. Oh wait, school supplies. Okay, they had school supplies up in the front too and I couldn't find any tape. OMG, I just found the packaging tape. Um, it's actually, ooh, wait, how is, what is this? Packaging paper? How much is this packaging paper? And is it cheaper than what I pay for it? Okay, okay, eight, seven, I actually think this feels like really light for some reason, like my other packaging tape that I buy feels a lot heavier, even though it's the same brand. Four rolls, 218 yards, 200 meters. This is light duty, 400 yards, ooh, 400 yards, that sounds real nice. How do I know? Four pack, 100 yards. Four pack, 54 yards. Um. Okay. Oh, four pack at 100 yards, so it's 400 yards total. Gotcha. Man, the math. Okay. Um, maybe I should just buy one of these packs? But I feel like... How many yards is this? 54 yards? 
And those are a hundred. Oh, these are like this. Okay. I'm just gonna buy one roll because I think it's cheaper to buy a pack on Amazon. But um, I don't know. We'll see. My internet's also not working here, so <laughs> I'm just gonna buy one roll. Be safe. All right, you guys. Just got to the Goodwill, and I totally forgot today's Thursday. It's Dollar Day. There's probably gonna be nothing left, but there's always something. So let's go inside. All right, checking out the handbags. I looked at the clothing rack, but didn't find anything. Did I just hear goodie carts? Let's go. Look at these size 11 coat shoes. Pretty nice. A Zara bag, some Nikes. A makeup bag. Oh, how funny. It's like Looney Tunes stationery. Marvin the Martian, Daffy Duck, and the Bugs. This bird clock. Bunch of Angry Birds stuff. These are kind of cute. Eliza loves Angry Birds. But they definitely don't need any more stuffed animals. Got some Adora and Friends bracelet things. There's these Michael Kors boots for girls. What size are these? Looking at the rest of these shoes really quick, I think. Oh wait, these are size one. I wonder if my neighbor's daughter is a size one. Kurt Warner, Toned World Champion. Are these like cool? I don't know who that is. I don't know anything about sports. What is this? Emily M. Okay, there's a Hello Kitty dressed as a bunny with a snowman. And this is like not Rilakkuma, but it looks like Rilakkuma's friend. I don't know. There's these Geo bookends, but they're expensive, $14.99 each. Okay, I'm just back looking at the handbags again. Oh, I thought that was a... I saw that one last time. Looks like a Dooney and Burke, but it's not. Okay, trying to go through the rest of these bags, which are all over the floor at the moment. I already saw these Harajuku girl bags here two days ago. This Dooney bag was here yesterday as well. What is this? Nine West. There's that fake Fendi. I just remember seeing that too. This guy's pleather, I think. Let's see. No, this is probably leather, but not in our public. Let's see how much it is. This one's $7.99. Just looked it up. Um, I don't know. We'll consider as we go along. There's a guest bag down there. It's like a bunch of stuff. Oh, whoops. Oh, I think that's it for the handbag. What is this? This might be a... No, this is not a coach. Um, I'm not familiar with that little emblem. Oh, it's a bally? Mm, why are you so damaged? Right, it's $5.99 too. It's not horrible. I think it could be clean, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Whoa, look at this box. It's like a wood present box. And it has like a metal bow on it. It's $5.99. That is interesting. I mean, like, I kind of like it. <laughs> $5.99. Don't know any of its origin. But this is a really cool box. Right? Oh, stop it. A bread box? 
Whoa. That is cool. Oh, there's a door. $5.99. Oh my god, it's so cute. Alright guys, I just found the actual bread box. It's on auction on this website for $50. So, it's cool. This is actually a, a knife drawer as well. It's so fun. This is like really cool. What's with all the cool stuff that they have right now? I honestly don't know what this is for, but this would be cool. Like, do you think it'll fit my Angelus paints in here? Oh, do you think it's like this and they'll stand up? No, it's probably too low, huh? But then if they're like this, like, then they'll be kind of like... I don't know. This is cool, though. Like, this little... Like, if you had something that would fit in there, like, perfectly, this is, like, awesome. Oh, I think these are, like, cigarette, like, cigar boxes. I really do kind of want the present in the... I'm gonna go get a cart. Alright, so I already have them in my cart because I'm slightly obsessed with how cute these things are. I love me how Kailan. Is that a backpack with birds all over it? Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, what are these? Pottery Barn, Thailand. These are cute. I've never seen these footed bowls before. Stop it. Why are you doing this to me, Pottery Barn? Okay. Are these all Pottery Barn? Stop. Don't tell me these are also Pottery Barn. They are Pottery Barn. No. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I wonder if there's any plates too. Okay, I'm on the hunt for the plates. Cause maybe if I could find the plates, I might also get the bowls. But, I mean, they're just like bowls. Umi Casa Vassars. Bowls are pretty, I've been looking for like plates with like a gold like rim like that for a while but I want like dinner plates kind of like this but they never have enough unless maybe these are enough we'll see there's n they're actually not like I don't know not exactly what I was looking for I guess keep looking how would it how cool would it be to just find like a giant set of anthropology plates right now that would totally make my life Sip. Oh, mud pie. <laughs> Every time I see this, I think that it's, um, what's his face? But, okay. I don't think I see any cool mugs. I think, like, these are really exciting, though. I'm really excited about these two pieces, and I hope you guys like them, too. I'm trying to bring, like, cool, like, unique things into the shop that, like, you're not necessarily gonna find anywhere else. And for a pretty good price too. Uh, these are like so lightweight. Look at these. What are these called? Placemats? These are cool. Michelle, how 
Not necessarily like my aesthetic, but they're still pretty cool. I just found the Pottery Barn. Like these are like the salad plates as like one dinner plate, I think right there. But not like enough to buy because there's not a set. These were just from the cart. All right, I'm on my knees down here looking to see what they have in the vase section. This little box is kind of cute. It's like a little heart. Oh, oh, they're bobbleheads. How cute, $3.99. Are they a piggy bank? Oh, they are a piggy bank. Oh, look at the little bunnies. Let's see what else. This like cart is like kind of hard to push. I feel like I'm gonna like just like knock them over and like shatter them. Oh, turkey, little bird. Alright, you guys. I found one of these cow like cream dispenser things. This one's actually made in England. It has like a cool design. I wish it was blue and white though. Otherwise, I would totally pick it up, but. Oh, that one's pretty cute too, but man, I'm still looking at that thing. I'm like, should I get it for my paint? Gold tray. Okay, I found the Potter Barn dinner plates, but there's only five, some said. All right, you guys, I got mom's medication and all that, and now we are finally back at the Pottery Barn outlet. Time to get that chandelier. Alright, that was like a really quick trip. I have the chandelier. You probably can't see it. There's like the box. Boop, back there. Um, gotta head home though because mom's texting me. I think she wants her meds because she's probably feeling the pain right now in her mouth from her uh, tooth extraction. So let's go home and get her her medicine. Alright you guys, I am inside the car now. Um, Dad and John came home and they were like, oh like, <laughs> there's no food. And then I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go buy some El Pollo Loco or something. I'm gonna get mom some chicken soup, chicken tortilla soup, um, which is pretty good from El Pollo Loco. So I'm gonna go there, get some, um, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna get tostada salads for the three of us. Mom still can't eat like solid foods or anything. So she's just gonna have the soup and the kids and my sister and them, they are still out for the day. They want like, they went on a little like family outing. So I am tasked with procuring tonight's meal. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna head out right now. Um, what else was I gonna tell you guys? Um, yeah, I think that's it. I, I was I told you I was gonna tell you guys something but I totally forgot. Anyway, let's head over to El Pollo Loco. Alright you guys, I apologize for the atrocious lighting but like the sun is like right here. Um, I am waiting in line and a Pollo Loco. <laughs> There's a Pollo Loco right there. I don't really want to get out, but I feel like maybe I should. Maybe I'm just being lazy, but there's like a car right behind me. So I can't really do anything other than just continue waiting in line. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited though because I love the, it's like, I like the double chicken tostada salad. It's like chicken, avocado, deliciousness. So I'm very excited. Um, this is also the same shopping center that the Goodwill is in, and I was really tempted to go to the Goodwill, but you know what? Family stomach comes first, so... <laughs> I was already there earlier today, too. I was a little bummed that I was only able to go to one um, Goodwill today, but, like, time did just, like, just did not permit. There was just so many things I had to do, and uh, everything took a little bit longer than I thought it would, so... Um, tomorrow though, for sure, I'll take you to more than one thrift store. Um, but don't forget to check out this morning's thrifting video, because I think, yeah, this one's gonna be a, oh no, it's a haul video. It's really good, because it was the one from thrifting yesterday. Oh, the car in front of me left. I feel like everyone's buying food right now, that's like the reason. But... I think that car is just gonna go inside. I think that's what's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, 
Anyway, I'll see you guys once we get the food. Okay guys, so I ended up getting out of the line, parking, and we're just going to go pick up the food instead. Um, the line is just so long, so. Also, I can get like as much salsa and stuff as I want, so let's go inside. Okay, so I ordered all the food. Luckily, my brother called me right before <laughs> I ordered, and the kids just got home with everyone, and they didn't want chicken, so I got Food for everyone. Super excited. Let's go home and eat. <laughs> hey guys, like I took a shower and my hair is just like flopping around. Like the sides are just like woo, -woo. Like that is whoosh. starting like a new trend or something. Anyway, well not a trend. It's not a trend if no one likes it. <laughs> oh, okay, so I just got in my room. Um, everyone is fed and in bed, and I am wiped out from the day. It has been pretty eventful, to say the least. Um, Mom is feeling, luckily, a lot better now that she's got her medicine. Um, like, the pain is a lot more tolerable, and she was able to eat some chicken tortilla soup, which she was very happy about from um, El Pollo Loco, and then we had our salads, and it was delicious. The kids had their chicken, they had, um, what else did I get them? I got the macaroni and cheese, and they actually like salad, so they had salad as well. Um, and yeah. Oh, okay, look, okay, the other stuff, the stuff that I got from the Goodwill is actually, like, out from, like, not in my room, so I did end up getting that really cute house bread box i couldn't resist and i know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea everyone like i know a lot of you guys are gonna be like hey Adrian, like what is this that is so random i thought it was really really cute so i i had to get it it's gonna go up in the shop um because i know that there's like one or two of you out there that is gonna love it as much as i do and it was so stinking cute i've never seen a bread box like that i've seen so many different styles of bread boxes before but never one that looks like a house. And you know how I love, like, how I love things that look like something else, like a backpack with a face on it, with a banana that holds the keys. Like, that's like my aesthetic. I don't know, like, things that look like other things that are for other things. Like, if I had, if there was like a really cute, like, animal bread box that was like in the shape of an animal, that would be really cool, but kind of little, like a little weird, but like the house is just so cute. And that, the fact that it has like the hidden drawer for the bread knife, that is... And it's not like, well, unless you're making your own bread or buying like bread that's all right, like that hasn't been cut, like you don't really need, they'll have like a need for the knife, but like it's still a really cute touch. Um, and then I had to get that wooden box with the metal bow. I thought that was so unique. Um, that's another thing that I hope you guys enjoy. I'll put that up in the shop. Um, I thought it was really, really cool. Not only can you use it to give, like, a gift, like, like, that's, like, a really cool, like, almost like wrapping paper box to give to someone with like the gift inside. I feel like the box itself is a gift in and of itself. So it's like a double gift. You can, you, you can set it on, I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I always say you can set it on a stack of books. You can put it on a console table, coffee table, side table, your vanity. You can put it on your bookcase. Like it's gonna look fantastic. It's unique. And the fact that it had a metal bow, I thought was really cool. I looked, um, I looked up those boxes too on um online and i never i hadn't seen any that had a bow that intricate um there were other bows with like only like four like loops or whatever but that one has like numerous ones and i thought that was just really cool and i've never seen anything like it and that's like really awesome so i was very excited about that um what else oh so we were also able to pick up my aunt's chandelier. I almost thought I wasn't going to make it because I was like, oh my gosh, the traffic is going to be horrendous. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try anyway. Got it. I had to make sure I could still get it on sale too because the sale, um, but actually the sale wasn't going to end till I don't think the sale ends until Tuesday. And also the other chandelier that we have inside our living room. I know a lot of you guys were like obsessed with it and they actually have it at that, um, at the... Pottery Barn. So, if anyone is local, um, head over to the Pottery Barn. I think it's, I think it's the West Covina Pottery Barn Outlet, West Covina location, 
and they have it's not the round one but it's the linear one so it's like almost like an oval shape and i believe it's 52 inches wide it would be perfect for on top of a dining table or an island i think it would look fantastic it shines like no there's no tomorrow and they are crystal they're like the glass is crystal glass so it's really really pretty and reflective and amazing and it's like it's originally five thousand dollars yeah it's a five thousand dollar chandelier it's on sale for twelve hundred and i know that it's still very very expensive but if that's like if you're looking for like that statement piece and you want to splurge and get something really really nice like a lot of chandeliers are, like, chandeliers are very expensive and no matter where you go like you're never really gonna find like a super cheap chandelier that's like crystal and all that stuff it's very hard and twelve hundred dollars I think is like very like an investment and I think you're like you would love it forever especially for something that you're gonna hang up in your house we're never gonna take down any of these chandeliers let's be honest like unless I mean let's never say never because Mom and I are a little crazy, but even like in our old house, we never changed any of our lighting, like other than when we updated the house. Because when we first moved in, we literally only had one chandelier in the whole house, and it was in the dining room. And then when we renovated, like I want to say like 15, 10, 15 years ago, we changed that chandelier out, and then for a new one, which is the one that's hanging up in my room right now, because we brought it with us, because we love it so much. And the we put um, three like little hanging pendant lights in the kitchen um, to go over the peninsula that we had there, and that was like it. Like We never changed any other lighting ever. And we never even had any other pendants there before, so we literally just added three and then changed one. So we only ever changed one in like the 23 years that we lived in that house. So, um, yeah. I don't, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this, but I, I don't know, it's like some things like you just want to make sure that it's great and that you really, really love, like lighting, like chandeliers is something that I feel pretty strongly about for houses. I know it's like a ridiculous thing to feel strongly about, but um, if you, if you just like, gosh, I hope you guys don't hate me for saying, for like talking about chandeliers as well. But I just think chandeliers are so cool. And I think, like, honestly, they make such a huge impact in a space. And I remember when we had, like, no chandeliers in the house. Like, the house literally felt empty. Like, everything, like, I don't know. You guys probably think my house is so cluttered. Like, I, I read the comments where people are like, Hadrian, your house is looking crazy. You have so much stuff, da 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 But honestly, to each his own. Um, it's not hurting anyone. And I, like, I think... I think it looks good. I like it and my family likes it and that's really all that matters. Like no one else is living here other than us. So, but yeah, Ugh, chandelier is so exciting. I just like, okay, this is turning into like chat time with Hadrian talking incessantly and not stopping. Um, but what else was I going to say? Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, and I know I haven't really listed anything new this week. Like I listed a couple things. Um, but I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try really hard to list tonight, um, even though I'm like, honestly, I'm kind of exhausted. I've been riding around since like 6 a.m., um, and I think it's like about 9.30 right now, so, um, and I still have like hours, uh, hours ahead of work to do, so I'm gonna get that done, then hopefully try and list, otherwise I'm gonna definitely try and list tomorrow morning, um, I do have other things I have to do tomorrow too, though, but... And then Saturday is like 15. That's like really the only time I ever cut out like for myself. And that's like <laughs> thrifting with you guys. But honestly, it's like my favorite day of the week. Um, it's like, it's just like my relaxation day. That's like, like I get to go out and just like thrift. And it's like a retail therapy, honestly. So it's like so much fun. And then Sunday, we have that thing that we're like, I think we're, we're having like a neighborhood party at one of our neighbor's houses. Um, I'm not even too sure if we're gonna go anymore. Um, I think it really depends on how mom feels because she is feeling pretty like eh. But mom has a very high pain threshold and her recovery time is like pretty quickly uh, or pretty quick but she's like 
I don't know, this is like the most pain she's ever felt from any of her surgeries, and she's had like a lot of different surgeries done. But like this one, she's like, oh my gosh, it's so painful. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, and now that she has her medication, it's like a lot more bearable for her, so that's really, really good. Um, and what else? I think that is it. Oh, let me do our shout out, our thrift shout out of the day. And I have. Oh my gosh, I remember there was like a really good one from earlier today that I saw. I really should just like screenshot it and then like save it so I can, um, so I can, what's it called? Like, like just have it ready. Um, Okay, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay, this made me laugh. Someone said, but OCD is the same as LOL, I'm just saying. Okay, the thing with OCD, though, is that that's, like, actual, like, medical terminology. And I know that, like, other things, like, LOL and LMAO, I guess, are officially in the, like, dictionary. But OCD is actually acceptable to use within a scientific, like writing um paper and like obviously you can't use like the letter u for y-o-u or like lol or lmao or omg stuff like that so that's like that's like the difference like it's not like a like <laughs> it doesn't really matter <laughs> uh okay okay, okay. uh Blah, blah, blah. Oh, someone, okay, also, the, I think Jay, oh, okay, Jay Johnson said, this isn't, like, this isn't, um, a find or anything, but they, she said, or Jay, Jay, Jay said, <laughs> um, tell us about the Outside Island centerpiece, please. Um, and I think I've, I talked about it before when we first got it, and I even brought you guys along to the store when I bought it, but I purchased that giant piece of, it's actually not driftwood, it's, um, I think it's, I believe it's a manzanita root, it's a manzanita root, a giant one, and I purchased it from a place called The Potting Shed, and it's in Orange, California, if any of you guys want to go over there and check it out it's in orange california it's called the potting shed you can just google it and it'll come up and it's run by this amazing like man his like he owns it i believe it, oh, his name is jack and he is so amazing um he's so nice he's so generous and i love going into his store so much i honestly miss that store so i haven't actually been for like the longest time but i'm always messaging him on instagram he's so awesome he has like I have vast knowledge of plants and like everything and the store doesn't only have plants it has home decor it has furniture it has like um dinnerware it has like tchotchkes jewelry like so many things i even think he has some clothing pieces as well um so if you guys live near orange california or are going to be in the area Definitely check it out. His place is amazing. You tell him Hadrian sent you. And yeah. And or you can also check him out on Instagram. I believe it's called TP. Wait. Oh, hold on. Actually, let me look it up. Because I want to make sure you guys go. And I am always I always forget to put things up. Um Yeah. I always forget to put things up, like, in the links and stuff. So I want to make sure that you guys follow him. When you guys add them, say, Hadrian sent you because I love that place so much. And, like, this, like, I'm not sponsored or anything by them whatsoever by any means. But I just am, like, so obsessed with their store. Um, It's called The Potting Shed. It's TPS Home and Garden, right? Yeah, TPS Home and Garden. So definitely go to their Instagram. And if you're in the area, check out the store. It's such an awesome store. That is where, okay, that's where I got my really large piece of driftwood that's outside that um, Jay asked about. And if you guys um, 
see inside the house, Jane Eyre. She uh, currently has a giant, like, not a giant, but she currently has a staghorn fern um, on her as her hair. I purchased a staghorn fern from the potting shed. I also got her from the potting shed. So, it, it's an amazing store. They have such amazing things. So, I definitely, definitely, definitely suggest checking it out if anyone's ever over there. Um... And I'm laughing because in this in this morning's video, I showed these giant, like, ceramic pumpkins. <laughs> you know, this is like, it's the second time that I've seen them there. And I honestly wish that I purchased them the first time. And I don't know why I didn't purchase them the second time. And I was just like, oh, it's like another thing I have to store. And I'm just like, um... If I have, if I've, if I was only, like, finished setting up the garage and, and I just haven't had time. It's just awful. Um, and <laughs> I need to, like, cut out some time to do it, but honestly, it's just been, like, so hectic around here that I just haven't been able to do any of it. So, I just don't want to add any more chaos to it. And plus, since it's, like, a, like, a holiday item i'm not gonna be using it for a while but honestly i think if i when i go on saturday and if those pumpkins are still there they're definitely gonna go home with me um and i might even just put them up in the shop i know a lot of you guys said that you guys would uh, like it maybe so if i purchase them i'll put them in the shop to see if anyone wants them and then if no one wants them then i'm gonna keep them and put them up for halloween because they are seriously fantastic i don't know why i didn't buy them. they're seriously amazing like i keep thinking i literally had a dream about them and like you know that movie halloween town i had a dream about halloween town and i was we were having some sort of festival like this is like okay i'm not even lying this was my dream last night or this morning i woke up and i was like oh my gosh halloween town um so I, I lived in halloween town and we were having like a house decorating contest or something and like it was those pumpkins that set my decor over the top and apparently like they ended up being magical pumpkins that on the day of halloween they turned into like dancing scarecrows with heads, like jack-o-lantern heads like that and they would like dance around and like hand out candy and yeah i know hadrian like calm down um <laughs> <sighs> um, don't paint the white bench. The white table is too high for the bench. Don't paint the white bench. Uh, I don't know what that means, but anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, so oh, people have also told me that they might that I might be overwatering the grapes. That might be very true. I'm gonna not water them for like a week and see what happens and see if they get better. Um, cause like I always think that they're drying out. It's like, I don't know what it is. Like, no, like, I know other things are definitely drying out, but like the grapes, like I always think that they're drying out. Like, I don't know. So I'm not gonna water them for like a week and see what happens and then I'll start watering them again. But thank you for that input. You guys are amazing. Um, like the other, all the other plants, like I'm pretty good about like, like water, like I know like the watering thing with them, but like, it's just like the grapes. I'm like, grapes. They're like a whole like different thing for me. I have like no clue about grapes. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't find it. Ah! Um. Anyway, does anyone else have any cool plans for this weekend? Like, I'm just really excited for the weekend. Um, I'm really excited to go thrifting. I'm pretty excited for the party, but I definitely don't want to go if mom's not going to go because it's not going to be the same without her. And, um, even though I probably would drop by for, like, a little bit, but just because we already said that we were going to go and... Oh! <gasps> Glenda said, you guys are sucks, said with respect and humor. I actually don't know what sucks means, but it's probably like some Australian thing because this is from Glenda, Glenda Holding from Australia. Hi, Glenda. You are amazing. Like, Glenda, like, I love you so much. She, she said, in Australia, temps in summer reach at least 45 degrees Celsius or 120. Yeah, that is really hot. <laughs> okay, so it was 117, like, last week, and I was literally 
dying. Like, I went outside and my skin was blistering. It's so, like, oh my gosh. And also, look at my horrible tan. Like, do you see this horrible, like, it's really, really, re like, look how white I am. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm, like, trying to, like, cover up how, <laughs> how awful my farmer's tan is. <laughs> Um, okay, also, I love, okay, Squeegee Beckenheim said, waiting at the airport is my current aesthetic, it made me laugh. Thank you, I thought that was so funny, like, I was totally cracking up at myself, um, I'm, like, so lame, like, I'll say something and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I'm, like, ridiculous, and I start laughing at myself. Like, when I said that, <laughs> the, um, the two chairs, like, back to back with each other, like, that's so, like, the airport, right? Like, whenever you go... Every time we go to, like, the baggage claim, they always have, like, a row of them, like, back-to-back. -back. Or, like, you know, like, when you're in the terminal and you're waiting to board the plane, like, they're back-to-back. -back. Like, I don't know, that's, like, that's like, definitely my current theme slash aesthetic for the courtyard. It is definitely airport aesthetics. That's, like, that is it. So crazy. Um... Okay, wait, Jackie Whale said, I have a huge grapevine. There are so many grapes coming, but it's planted in the ground. They dry out quickly in a pot. We have had a heat wave here in England. The, garter, the gardens are suffering. Yeah, like, that's why I thought the grapes were drying out. Because literally, like, they look like they're shriveling. Like, some of the leaves look like they're shriveling up. But then some are still, like, growing. Like, there's, it's still growing new, like, leaves and stuff. So it's really weird. We asked our gardener. He honestly had no clue. He was just like, I don't know. So... Um, that's why I was asking you guys. And you guys have, like, a huge knowledge of all this stuff. So, thank you, you guys. You guys are amazing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, you know what? I think Tosh, I think Tosh got a shout-out already, but Tosh, you're gonna get another one. Because you said, um, you went thrifting at Goodwill and found a Kipling bag for $2.99, an MK for $12.99, and a Cartier bracelet for $9.99. A new worker price in front of me. So excited. Oh my gosh, Tosh, that is amazing. Can you please share some photos or something? So if, like, and also if anyone, like, has, like, any amazing thrift finds or anything like that that you post on your Instagrams, definitely tag me, because I would love to, like, pop it up and then, like, maybe, like, ooh, I'll show it in the video, yes. Definitely tag me. If anyone posts, like, anything cool, like, that they find on Instagram, tag me, and you might, like, get a little shout-out as well for your Instagram. Definitely do that. I think that's gonna be so much fun. I don't know why I'm having so much fun, like, reading your comments. Like, I feel like this is, like, gonna be, like, one of my new things, and I'm, I hope it doesn't annoy you guys that I'm, like, sitting here reading these comments in front of you guys and then answering questions, um, and all that stuff, because it's just, I just think it's so much fun. Um, and I'm glad that a lot, a lot of you guys like the mug with purchase idea, because that's going to feed my, like, mug shopping addiction. Um, someone said do a wallet with the, each purchase. I would love to do that, but unfortunately, I don't really find as many... I, I don't actually really find too many wallets, and I also don't normally find any that are, like, cheap enough to, like, be able to do a gift with purchase, like, like with a wallet. Um, so, yeah. I wish I could, but that's, that's, um, I haven't reached that level of, like, thrifting success yet. <laughs> um, but, okay. Oh, wait, <laughs> Linda Marquez said, do Hadrian, forget $20, that's not Hadrian, love your thrifting. Thank you, Linda, I don't think I'm gonna try to do a $20 thrifting challenge, like, all in one, kind of, like, shopping thing like I don't I don't think I can do that but maybe like um like a home decor thing like maybe like thrift like a vignette for $20 like a little like thing I think that'd be really cute <gasps> oh my gosh what if I did that but like within the store I'll be like okay well I found $20 worth of stuff and this stuff would look really cute sitting on a console coffee table or something that would be awesome. I think that'd be fun. I also kind of want to do stuff like that in the shop. Like, I want to curate little vignettes and then put them in the shop to purchase so that, like, if you guys are struggling with purchasing things that, like, kind of go together, like, I can, like, just, like, have them, like, pre-put together for you and you can just, like, purchase it and just, like, 
choop, and then just like transfer it to wherever you want. Like I think that would be so cool. Oh, hey Adrian, please get the clock with Jack from Night Before Christmas. I'll buy it from you in a second. I'm so sorry, Olga, I did not buy it. And I I honestly think it might already be gone, but if it's still there the next time I go, um, I will definitely pick it up. Oh, this is funny. Um, Renee Goforth. Hi, Hadrian and commenters. I accepted your $20 challenge and failed immediately, but I found a black Dolce and Gabbana for $9.99, a tan Prada for $8.99, and a tan coach for $8.99 at Goodwill all in one day. Couldn't pass them up. Thank you so much for all of your inspiration. New make thrifting so much fun. Thank you so much, Renee, and congratulations on those amazing finds. You were the comment that I was looking for because I was like, you know what? Like, I, I remember. So, that is, um, okay, so Dolce & Gabbana, $9, um, probably $9, that's already 18 so like 9 times, so that's, you spent about like a little under $30, that's totally fine, that is amazing, and like one of those bags, like, just the, okay, Dolce & Gabbana, price range for Dolce & Gabbana is anywhere from like a couple hundred to a couple thousand, like let's be serious, same for Prada, Coach, couple hundred dollars. Like, you can't pass that kind of stuff up, you guys. <laughs> Especially when you're, like, um, a reseller. I think it's very important to do that. Like, to not pass up those kinds of things. Because you can definitely um, make your money back and more. So, that's, like, one of the reasons why I actually started thrifting was because I... I wanted to be able to afford things and not, like, have to pay, like, full. Okay, first of all, I didn't want to pay full price. And then, but what's great about thrifting is that you can thrift things and resell them and save up to buy something. Like, if you really want something that you're you're never going to find because it just came out this season, you're never really going to find that at the Goodwill. Like, let's be honest, you're not going to find that at the thrift store. Like... Like, we'll never say never, though, because there's, there's a possibility for anything, but the per- That's like a point zero 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 one percentage that you're gonna find it at the thrift store. So, like, just being able to thrift and then save your, like, um, the- and, like, be able to save, like, the, uh, money that you you make from, like, resell to purchase these things, like, it's amazing because you can- like, literally, you can spend, like, a couple dollars and get back, like, almost a hundred dollars, like, depending on what it is. So, honestly, it's amazing. Um, I definitely want to do, I always want to do all these videos, but I never really have the time to sit down and really think it out, which is, like, part of my problem. Like, I need to, <laughs> Ugh, I should probably spend less time talking like this and, like, <laughs> think about like an actual video topic, but I def okay. I'm gonna try and do um at least a live feed or video for like resale questions because I know a lot of you guys have questions, um, and a lot of you guys email me and ask me to like help you guys like start out, and it's just really hard to like I I should really just like maybe write something down in like. A blog or something so that I can just like direct you to it or if you guys have any questions I think I should definitely do that but I think we'll definitely do a Q&A so that I can actually get like an understanding of the questions that people have um, as for myself like when I started reselling and all that stuff I honestly had no clue what I was doing <laughs> I kind of just like learned along the way um, and like there's so many resources online honestly like I just um, like, I'm, like, a researcher in my heart. That That's what I learned, like, all through school, how to research and all, and which I think is so important. I think being able to research things and look things up and all that stuff on online through books, um, is so important. I think that's, an, like, an important, um, skill to have. And, yeah, so, anyway... Um, I'm gonna end the video here before I go crazy talking some more. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out this morning's thrifting video. And tomorrow the new new video goes up at 7. Love you guys so much. See you guys later. Bye!